Hey, this is Caitlin from the Matheson History Museum coming to you live from the Tyson Tool Barn right over here. This is one of four historic buildings in the Matheson History Museum complex um, that we would like your help to preserve through the amazing give today, which starts in just half an hour at six o'clock. So we are going to go inside and talk to our new director of the museum, Dixie Nielsen, who has been working in the tool barn for about two years now, helping to clean it up and make it look nice. Hi, welcome to the Tyson Tool Barn. This is one of my favorite four buildings of the Matheson Museum. It was built in the backyard of a gentleman in, 19, in the 1980s, and it was taken apart and carried to this site by he and several members of the museum, and recreated, put back together, and now displays his fabulous collection of historic tools. These are some of the nicest tools that Mr. Tyson collected all over the country prior to his death. So we are very fortunate to be able to show them off and explain them and learn ourselves about our Florida heritage. Thanks for coming to the Tyson Tool Barn. This is just one of the many things that the amazing give will help sponsor in the coming year. Thanks for donating. Great, thank you, Dixie. Now we are going to go over to the 1867 Matheson House this is the third oldest house in Gainesville. Here it is right here. Um, so this isn't the, the best view of the house. You'll have to come to the museum to see the best view because we're going in the back door. But this was built in 1867 by the Matheson family. And the last Matheson to live here, her name was Sarah, Sarah Hamilton Matheson. And as we're going through the house, we'll be turning on some lights as we go because to help preserve the things inside the house, we keep the lights off because light can be very damaging. So Sarah Matheson, who was the last one to live here, she was the one who helped to found the museum. She loved to travel and we have travel souvenirs of hers from all over the world. Um, and if you come by the museum, we have a mini exhibit up about Sarah right now. Um, you can see that anytime the museum is open, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4. And this is the dining room of the house with Catherine Hale Matheson, who was uh, the grandmother of Christopher Matheson, who is Sarah's husband. Moving through here, this is... Christopher Matheson's office. Ah, now you can see it. This is Christopher and Sarah Matheson right up here on the wall. Christopher Matheson served eight years as the mayor of Gainesville. He is the longest serving mayor in Gainesville history. And then his wife, Sarah, who is very dedicated to historic preservation. And then moving through to the last room that we're going to look at today, this is Christopher's uh, father-in-law. That's There we go, now you can see him. This is Augustus Steele, and he owned a lot of property in Cedar Key. And so Alachua County, when it was formed, was one of the largest counties in the state. Um, there are over 20 of the 67 counties in Florida were once part of Alachua County, and Augustus Steele, was one of the people who was instrumental in helping Hillsborough County to break away. Um, so these are just a few of um, the things that you can see in the Matheson House and the Tyson Tool Barn. Um, these are some of the things that we need your help to preserve and interpret. And if you come by the museum, you can uh, take the longer tour and you can learn more about the history. You can see the rest of the house. We only looked at a few rooms. And um, we would love to have you come and see that. And don't forget to help us do something amazing with the Amazing Give today. It goes um, starting at 6 o'clock today until 6 o'clock tomorrow. It's 24 hours. And you can give to the Matheson. The link is in the 
um, description of this video, and the website is www.theamazinggive.org. Thank you so much.